Authorities are now trying to determine their next steps in the ongoing search for a missing Liberty County woman. They believe foul play is involved. Fox 26's Natalie He is there live tonight with the latest. Natalie, what do you know? Well, Tom, after a week-long search, authorities say they haven't found anything. That means they have some tough decisions to make. The Liberty County Sheriff's Office says they'll be meeting with the District Attorney's Office this week to determine whether to continue the search or call it off altogether. On day seven of the search for missing 57-year-old Cheryl Ann Sadal, dive teams from Baytown Police, Harris County Sheriff's, Texas Game Wardens, Crosby Fire, and Liberty County Sheriff's Office zeroed in on a portion of Horseshoe Lake using sonar technology. Less than a day before, cadaver dogs appeared to have found spots of interest beneath the water, just about a thousand feet away from Cheryl's home. Well, it's called Horseshoe Lake for a reason. This is. This road is like the tongue of the horseshoe. Deanne Harmon woke up Monday morning to find the street in front of her home lined with investigators. The search now officially a recovery effort. Everything that's um, ever been animals that's died, like uh, turtles or um, alligators or anything, it always winds up down here on the end because it flows just around just like a horseshoe. I feel for her family. Um, I'm just hoping they find, uh, find her so the family can have uh, peace of mind. Authorities say Cheryl was last heard from on September 12th. Six days later, her niece called 911 to report her missing when she spotted her aunt's purse and car but hadn't heard from her. When law enforcement arrived at Cheryl's Cleveland home, a man named Donald Hassler answered the door and told police Cheryl had gone out of town. We've never heard of this man. Um, until his name was released yesterday. Investigators later discovered evidence of bloodstains and foul play inside the home. Hassler is a parolee and was arrested on a charge of felon in possession of firearms. He remains behind bars with no bond. We're told Donald Hassler and Cheryl were friends for about two years. So far, Hassler has not been charged with any other crimes. In Liberty County, Natalie He, Fox 26 News. Natalie, thank you. Well, the